How's it going, everyone? I'm Feather, and welcome back to more Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. In the previous episode, we continued to explore the Ancient Gardens once more, again, and this time we made it to the top where we came across Bowser Jr. He kidnapped, sort of, the little rabbit that we're trying to help prevent doing crazy things, also known as now apparently named Spawny. And we also fought Rabid Khan. So it was a very uh, awesome episode. I really enjoyed that one. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you haven't seen it, well, I mean, I spoiled it. But hey, go check it out anyway if you're interested. But now we're done with the Ancient Gardens. And we're going on to the Sherbet Desert, I guess, in this episode. So that's going to be interesting to see. Can't wait to jump there. But before we do anything, I would like to go... Not to the Buddy Dome. That's not what I'm looking for. Actually, let's talk to Peach. Please hurry, Mario. In some ways, Bowser Jr. is even worse than his father. You would say that, Peach. Because you have a thing for Bowser. I know, I know you. Okay. Anyway, I want to go in here. Let's look at the skill tree yet again. Because we got a lot now. Yeah, Mario's got like 35 here. What can we get here? Increases damage dealt when performing a dash. It was over. Actually, maybe we should get this one to bump it up. Sure. We'll bump him up. Nice. For Rabbit Peach, um. Sure. We'll add the sentry in. Alright. Um. Her rabbit Luigi. Could give him a rocket? Ah, oh, that sounds pretty cool to me. Let's give him a rocket. And for Luigi, we'll give him. We'll give this. Because I kind of want this one. Because it sounds pretty good. Alright. We should be good. But let's go and look at the weapons, because I know we can get new stuff. Um, this one has honey chance. This one has bounce damage. Bounce damage is good, because it gets people away from me. We're going to go with the one, this one, just because I like the idea of knocking things away more. Burn damage to stone damage. Um, we'll go with this. For the Ouija, we don't even have that one. Oh, we missed it. Somewhere in the ancient gardens, okay. Um... Which one? I like that one. Oh, I have like wasting all my money. Rabbit Peach isn't even gonna get anything. Dang it. Okay. That was fine. I've been stocking up on a lot of stuff or coins for a while there, so you know. So I'm gonna grab these and then we're gonna go backwards because I don't actually wanna go over there. I got the museum. I'm not really worried about the museum. All that much. It's not the biggest priority I ever know. I'm not going to worry about the washing machine. We're just going to go to the next world here. To the Sherbet Desert. Alright. Um, okay. What exactly is my objective here? Just pushing? I haven't learned how to do this. Okay. Hmm. I haven't learned how to do that. Uh, have you learned how to do anything there? Or... I 
I couldn't tell if I was doing anything or at all on that, but it doesn't seem like I was. You know, let's just go in here. I don't know what I was doing. Alright, we're at the next world though, so that's exciting. Can't wait to see what this one's about. Wonderful. This once thriving desert is now a partly or is now partly a frozen wasteland. Your arrival in this world would seem to be as welcome as a skunk in a bowling alley alley. Wow, ouch. Hello again. Have you seen Toad? We got separated. Again? Uh, he thinks it's fun. Just throw out the map and let your heart be your guide. It's is his motto. Could you please find him for me? I'm starting to get worried. I'll stay here in case he comes back. It must be Captain Toad. Alright. That just looks really weird. Man, I was listening to this song a little bit off uh, camera. I think I was just listening to the song, and I absolutely just loved it. It just sounded so amazing. Okay, well here's a battle. What's new about battling in this world? Well, what's different, I guess. Alright, let's look at the map here. Um, a Sherbet Ziggy. Sure about Hopper. What in the world was that thing falling? Oh, it's... I don't even know. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Seems like a very generic battle still. So this shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so we can hit him. Yeah, we could do this. Oh, but we don't land on him. That's kind of what I was banking on there. Okay, hopefully I could just hit him from here then. Nice. Take that guy out. That's good. Gonna grab these. And for Mario, I guess we could just get him in here. And yeah, you know, we could put him here. Good enough for me. He's safe, he's not gonna get hurt. See how it's gonna be, man. Oh, that guy double jumped there. Oh, he's gonna do the same. Oh, Mario's taking some hits there. Oh, and they even put shields up. Dang, I don't like these guys. Oh, I hate this guy. Get out of here. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I need to take this guy out because it makes that other guy kind of useless to himself.
Okay, let's just try to knock him out. Okay, we can do that. And now what I want to do is I want to do my swift feet that I just got, because then that gives Rabbit Luigi more mobility. What? Well, I thought it did, anyway. Apparently it doesn't. Maybe it didn't count because of the area he was in. Yeah, we'll take out the guy who's gonna die here. Alright, he's out of the way. Good. Uh, let's put a shield up. So that way then Rabbit Luigi doesn't get hurt. But Luigi's in trouble, so that's lame, but it's one... Oh yeah, dude, don't run from me. Or Mario, I guess. Mario will track you down. He'll find you at the ends of the earth, mister. Speaking of Mario, he's gonna jump off Rabbit Luigi here. Bounce on his head. And then do a shot. And a boink. Fabulous kill right there, Mario. A legitimately fabulous kill. Epic play by Mario. Nice. Okay, and with that done, let's uh keep moving then. Oh, really? Right into another fight right away? Cool. Just jumped right into it. All right, what are we dealing with? This looks like quite the map. Mario's kind of missing half his health, so... First thing I'm gonna do is my vampire stuff. I want to use Mario, I'm gonna bounce off him. Actually, you know what? A better strategy for Mario would be to hit him not kill him yet. Do that. Oh, I can't just, like, double hit him here? Dang. Okay, well, I'll just bounce off of him then. Mm, there's a guy up here. Yeah, there is. Okay, so Mario's gonna get hurt. Which is why I'm gonna go and let him get some health. Keep him alive. Alright, Mario got more health for that. So that's good. You know what, we could just knock this guy out, like, he doesn't even matter, he's out. Which, that works well for me. So then we just got you, and... Yeah, we could be awesome and shoot that. Yeah, you know what, we'll go with that. I'm not gonna worry about using my shield yet, I don't think I need it. It's not gonna hit me anyway, so that guy's kind of... Running from me now. That guy looked like he was just rocking out. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> he was doing his own thing, that's for sure. Ooh, that was close. Ah, oh, that guy got a hit in. Dang it. Oh no, Mario just took that one. Oh man. That was not worth it.
Oh no. I'm making that mistake. I did that in the past and I didn't like that. I screwed up like that. I'm just going to send that thing on its way. Oh, I got scared. I'm like, don't hit me, dude. Ah, oh, that guy got lucky. Okay, I'm pulling out the shield just to be safe. Alright, Mario's the only one I can use here, and he can't even do anything, so... We're just gonna see how this plays out now. Okay, he's gonna flee, but now that thing hopefully can chase him. Oh! Luigi found him. Why do these guys do such a Oh, because he's charging up. That's what it's showing me. So he wasted his charge. Thank goodness. That guy can't even escape me. He's dead. Now I know that weird look or thing they're doing. That's them charging up. I didn't realize that it was. Yeah, see, he wasted it, so he can't use it. He used it on my little bomb car thing I had. So we can hit him. And burn him, too, so that's always fun. Oh, actually, we just killed him. Okay. Wait, what are we still messing with here? Where's the other guy? Um, where is this other monstrosity? Is he up here? Oh, he is. Well then, hello there, friend. Okay, well the best option for Mario is to stay put. I gotta get Luigi. You know what? Maybe I'm fine just like that. I'm not even gonna mess around with anything. Okay, so we're at a stalemate. So the only one who can really do anything right now is Rabbit Luigi. But I'm not gonna do it that way. can't have Mario just stuck in this... You know what? I have to. This guy's not even doing anything. He's too scared of me. Oh, he's charging, though. And he's not coming up, so... Yeah. Here's the game plan. Hope he doesn't see me. <laughs> That's the game plan. Just don't see me, dude. Okay, I have to waste it, don't I? Ugh! The hit was not fun. Alright. He 
he's oh he's coming at me what a punk okay I need to use that vampire skills right now well hang on I'm gonna do it this way. We're gonna hit him. I'm gonna just get myself in a spot where I can heal him first. So that way now this guy is set up that I can heal off of him. So Luigi can't do anything, but at least I can get Mario some health back. Alright, in the event I don't kill him, I can still shoot at him from an open shot. Boink. Done. That one was a little bit tougher. Oh, good too. Ah, oh, lame. Lame. Now I'm disappointed. I could have. I, I just took a little long there because I kept. I tried to bait him out and it just didn't work out like that. Dang it. Alright. Alright. It's gotten bigger. There must be a way to stop it. <clears throat> Two steps forward, one step back. To find Spawny, you must defeat the rabbits who play you at every step. However, each victory frees them from the mega bug upon high. Pay close attention when you defeat an enemy, and you'll see that the Mega Bug regains some of the strength it lost when it merged with your foe. Hint, the ghost-like apparitions that rise to the sky after you clobber someone's senseless are a clue. Yes, I see. Defeating the rabbits frees them from their from the Mega Bug's influence, which makes them which then makes the Mega Bug stronger. Well, that's very clever, I Oh. Oh dear, that's not good, is it? Our only hope is to find Spawny and stop him from creating any more abominations that will only add substance to the storm above. As you would say, let's go first to find Toad, then Spawny. Okay. Honestly, Spawny seems more important to be looking for. The mid boss theme. Awesome. these coins okay well we got a little bit of a puzzle here or... what is this oh wait, I didn't even see that oh there we go Cool. Give me that. Those power words. Alright. Um. We've come from over there. So, we go this way. We got a Sherbet Ziggy. Cool. That was a, not even a puzzle, to be honest. I was gonna say, that was an easy puzzle. It's not even a puzzle. It's literally just push that block that way and push the other block that way. I guarantee you'll do something. Wait, what in the world?
Ah! I want it. I want that one too, to don't spawn ya, or uh, despawn, for whatever word I'm looking for there. Yeah. Okay, well, that's just nightmare fuel right there. So I don't want to look at that ever again. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bonsai bill. Okay. Oh, there we go. And do that. Alright, uh, I guess there's... What's over here, actually? Hmm. There's more, I guess, in here. Oh, hey, look, a disco ball. That's always pleasant to see. Sure about hover. Oh, well then, that's actually kind of freaky. Well, it's the word, it's got groove, it's got meaning. Sure it does. Sure it does. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, poor bloopers. Alright, let's just see what we find down here, I guess. We're nearing the end of the episode here. I don't want to jump into another fight here. Um... Been over here, what the heck? What have I opened then? I must have opened, uh. No idea what I opened. We could do this quickly. Okay, let's see. Um. I gotta push that. So we'll grab these first. Push that. Push this. Easy. I mean, a lot easier than like that one previous one I did, but it's just way easier. Blastberry swirl. Cool. I'm out of there. I don't want to be in that place anymore. Tisk tisk. Underwear everywhere. This once majestic landscape now looks like a frat house thanks to those rabbits. Yeah, kind of. RL. Mario's not upset about it. Apparently this town ain't big enough for the two of them. Okay, so what are they doing? That's a good one to see. Alright. Well here's World 2-2 Undergarment something. What was that called? Undergarment Gulch? Okay. We're just going to stop the episode right there. We're just pretty much hitting a little bit over 30 minutes there. So, that's pretty much it for this one. World 2 is pretty cool so far. I really enjoy it. I like the music here. But, I mean, I like the music everywhere. But either way, this world's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see more of what kind of occurs in it. Other than the fact that it's weird, but that's normal. So, yeah. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe for more Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. Thank you if you do so. 
And, uh, yeah, comment down below what you thought of the episode. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, see ya.